Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a clickable checklist in Word. So this is a checklist that you can use electronically and just click the checkboxes. So first of all, I'm just going to change the background. If you don't want to see how I do the slightly more creative stuff, then you can fast forward in the video to get to the actual checkboxes themselves. So first of all, I'm just going to change the background color. So I'm going to go up to the design tab here go along to page color and then I'm going to check one of my recent colors here then I'm going to insert some text at the top so back up to insert along to text box click on the drop down and select draw text box then all I'm going to do is click and drag out a text box now my checklist is going to be for a road trip so I'm going to type road trip then I'm going to highlight my text, go up to the Home tab, I'm going to change the font and I'm going to change it to Brasilia and then I'm going to increase the size of that font. There we go and I'm also going to centre the text as well. Now for this particular text box I don't want this white background or this black outline so if I just click away you can see it's got a white background and black border I don't want that so I'm going to get rid of it so select it go to shape format go to shape fill and select no fill then go up to shape outline and select no outline and I'm going to center it so before I click off this box I'm going to then go up to the align tool here and select align to center and that will center this text box. Now I'm going to make the word checklist underneath and I've already formatted this text box so I don't want to go through the whole process again so I'm just going to copy and paste this text box. So to do that I have to select it. I can go up to the copy and paste on the home tab, copy and paste or I can click command or control C, command or control V or I can just hold down my alt key Alt or Option key on my keyboard, wait till my cursor changes, click and drag. And now I've got that copied, I can go ahead and change the text. I'm going to write the word checklist. And I'm going to change the font again here, just to add a little bit of interest to this brush script here. And then I'm going to move it underneath that road trip sign there. Perfect. Now, once you're happy with these, you can group them together. Hold down the command or control key while you select them both. Go up to shape format, go up to group and select group. And now you can move this around any way you want. And of course, you can center it by going back up to the alignment tool and checking align to center. Now we'll go ahead and insert the table. So my cursor is currently at the top of my page, so I'm just going to hit my return key a number of times. As you can see, Road Trip wants to come with me. So I will just select the box and use my arrow key to send that back up. And then put my cursor here. I'm just going to move that down a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to just hit that return key a few more times. So I want my table to start about here. So once I'm there, I go up to the Insert tab I go down to the table icon, click on the drop down and for this I just need five columns and then go all the way back down to eight rows. But you can change all that at a later date if you want to. Now I'm just going to move these bars across here because I don't want equal distances between each bars. So I'm just going to hover my cursor over this borderline here and then I'm just going to move it over to the left and this is where our checkboxes will be. And then in the middle here, I'm just going to move this one over and this will just be the center of our table and just giving us a gap between the descriptions here and our checkboxes here. So I'm going to grab this line as well and pull it over to the side here. I'm going to try and make this column here the same width as this column here. So these two columns will be where our checkboxes are. Now at the moment, the rows are a little too narrow. So I want to change the height of all of my rows. So I'm going to select my table by clicking on this square up here with a cross-headed arrow. And then I'm going to go up to Layout, 
and I'm going to go to height here and all I'm going to do is just use the up arrow so mine's getting a little clunky I don't know why I'm just going to enter 1.5 centimeters and press enter now I'm happy with the height of my rows but I haven't got enough to fill my page so all I'm going to do is to put my cursor in the lower right cell press the tab key and then again do the same low right cell and then I filled my page with as many rows as I can so the next thing to do is to place all of your information so for this I'm going to go and grab it from another document okay so now I've got all my text in now I can go ahead and customize it so I want it to be a little bit bigger so I'm going to select this row go to the home tab go to the increase font size icon and I'm going to increase mine to 18 and I'm going to do exactly the same with this side and just increase that to 18 there we go and I'm also going to ensure that this text is in the center of my cells so I'm going to highlight them go up to table layout and then you've got these options here so this is all your cell alignment tools here so depending on where you want your text to be in your cell depends on which one of these you have to check so I want mine over to the left but in the center so I want to align to center left and click so you can just see the difference between this cell alignment and this cell alignment here and I'm going to do exactly the same with this side and just click this tab here perfect now I need to insert my checkboxes but again I'm just going to change the alignment of those checkboxes where they will be so I'm going to highlight my column make sure I'm on layout and I'm going to check this align to center I'm going to do the same with this column align to center so now I'm going to insert my checkboxes so for this I need to go up to the developer tab now lots of you won't have this developer tab because it won't automatically be on your software so for those of you who are using a Mac go up to Word go to preferences go to the ribbon toolbar and then on this side here you'll need to scroll down and search for developer and make sure that's checked once it's checked you can save and then you'll see the developer tab in your software now for those of you on a PC I've done a video on how to get the developer tab into your software I will leave a link to that in the description below so once your developer tab is on your software you need to go along to this icon here that says checkbox and just click the checkbox now as you can see the checkbox has appeared and it has some shading around it you don't have to have that shading if you don't want it just click shading and the shading will disappear now the quickest way for me to do this to enter the checkboxes is to hover my cursor over the checkbox tab but use my down arrow to move my cursor so my down arrow moves the cursor click the checkbox and just keep going down the table to enter in your checkboxes now the way in which these checkboxes work is that you have to protect the form and then you can check them because at the moment if I try to click on them nothing happens so what you need to do is once you finish the form because once you've checked the protect form icon you won't be able to edit your form finish off editing your form and then go up to this protect form icon here and then you can now see that once I hover my cursor over and click I can now check and uncheck each box so you don't have to have these checkboxes protected you can just print this out and use it with a pen so in order to edit the rest of the form you have to check off this protect form icon because once you've protected it it basically says right you can't edit it anymore you can only check the checkboxes so what I need to do now is just turn all of this white just for decorative purposes nothing too fancy I'm just going to turn the borders and the background of this white that will show you how you can customize this form so that's the purpose of me doing what I'm doing just to show you how you can customize it so select your table go up to the table design icon here and then go along to this section here now the shading refers to the shading of your cells so if you click on any of these colors here it will change the color of the cells your table cells so I'm going to choose white 
And as you can see, all my table cells have turned white. But I also want to hide these lines, these border lines. So I go up to this section here, which is all about the borders. So the pen color here refers to the color of your borders. So I'm going to click white. Obviously nothing happens, but I need to go up to this icon here that says borders. Click on the drop down and select all borders if you want to turn all of your borders white. Click away and there you can see all of your borders have turned white. Now you can see a little pink line through here. But that's simply because the Word document is a bit glitchy. But if I zoom in, you can see they disappear. If I zoom out, they come back. But rest assured, it's just a glitch and it has all worked perfectly well. There you go, now they seem to have disappeared. Once you've finished editing everything and making it look pretty, go back up to the developer tab and if you want to use it in an electronic form, don't forget to hit the protect form icon here. If that's not what you want and you just want to print it out, that's fine, go ahead and print it out at this stage. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.